All right, thanks, guys. Coming off another solid day in our Major League Baseball leans. 17 and 13 in those leans for Sunday's action. So let's go ahead and look for more of the same today. We also went one and one in our Patreon picks as well. Now we do have some NHL Stanley Cup finals action here today. So let's go ahead and dive into this game. And uh, happy Memorial Day to everybody out there. Hopefully you're enjoying your day off. Uh, I won't be because I got to work today. And uh, a lot of folks say, hey, man, that's why you make the big bucks, this and that. Well, I'm not driven by money. I'm driven by happiness, and working today does not make me happy. But anyway, if you're off today, please enjoy it. I'm happy for you, and I want you to have a great day. And uh, obviously, we want to remember those who uh, paid the ultimate price, uh, the ultimate sacrifice. Uh, that's what today is all about. But anyway, NHL Stanley Cup, play, uh, Stanley Cup Final. <clears throat> Blues taking on the Bruins, 8 o'clock Eastern puck drop in Boston. The Bruins opened as the $1.60 favorite total at 5.5. And, and since those markets opened this one up, not a whole lot of movement on the total. Pretty good two-way action there. Although we are seeing a $0.10 cent fade of the Bruins uh, at home here down to minus 150. So once again, Boston opened 160 down to minus 150. Totals five and a half. Fifty-seven percent of the consensus is leaning toward Boston. Fifty-nine percent shaded toward the under. Right now, uh, St. Louis is plus one thirty-five on the money line. Boston plus one eighty on the puck line. We have Jordan Bennington for the Blues. Tuka Rask for the Bruins. Boston is six sixty-one when Tuka Rask makes the start. Now, Boston's winning 70% of their games at home, 68% as the official home favorite. They're also 7th in home scoring and ninth in home offensive shots. Uh, this Boston offensive ta uh, attack, they're uh, averaging 3.44 goals per contest at the Garden. Uh, they're also averaging 33.3 shots per game at the Garden as well. Boston's 28-19, taking on teams over 550. They're also 23 and 8, taking on teams, allowing 2.6 to 2.9 goals per contest. A couple more things to add about the Bruins. They rank fourth in goals allowed at home at just 2.4 in that contest there. They're on a seven-game winning streak in the Stanley Cup playoffs. And they are 5-1 and one straight up in their last six at home. Now, the, uh, the St. Louis Blues on the other side, they rank 16th in road scoring. 15th in road shots, and uh, offensively, they're averaging just 2.8 goals per contest on the road. They've dropped five out of their last 10, taking on the Bruins if you're into historical trends. When it comes to the total, St. Louis is just 41% to the over on the road, 40% to the over at the current total. The Bruins on the other side, just 35% to the over, taking on teams allowing 2.6 to 2.9 goals per contest. Got to go uh, kind of chalky here on the sides. Give me Boston minus 150 in the under 5.5 in that game. Next matchup, or next sport, excuse me, Major League Baseball. Nothing better than a little Major League Baseball on uh, one of our national uh, holidays. But anyway, let's go ahead and begin 